so let me show you what does it really mean in a, in a real life. So I'm going to show you using our um, application, Credos. I'm going to show you what's, um, what are the front end validations and back end validations so you can identify them. And uh, quite a few students in our bootcamp got a job just because of um, they know how to um, identify and report those issues. So during the interview, if you say like, okay, I know how to do uh, how to check that, and it's a back probably a back end issue because of this, you are golden. Um, so okay, uh, let me show you. Let me navigate to our application first. And I'm going to just go straight to sign in page. So here's the thing. Uh, so it's a simple uh, page that we all uh, kind of know um, pretty much everything because we wrote like a lot of test cases and defects. Um, so if I, for example, um, so first of all, I need to open the dev tools again. So remember last time we, when we tried to switch the view for mobile from mobile to desktop. So uh, now instead of clicking that button, I need to navigate to click this network tab right here. So once I do so, um, you will see this is all the network traffic that's uh, coming, uh, going back and forth. So for example, if I refresh it one more time, uh, so you see these are requests so just to load the single page, there is a quite a 46 request happened. And the first one, you can see it was the actual this request with this address. So it went there, it got the response back, which is this, and you can see it's, um, it's a lot, right? It's a lot of text really. And as I, as I said in the beginning, so we can see there is some, there was an image at first, right? And and some scripts, you see JS here, bundle JS. So now, so this is the first step. We get the initial HTML page, which is a really kind of a template. And then it starts downloading all the assets. You see in the CSS file, another one, another one. These are JavaScript files. And then it goes WOF file, it's a font. Then there are some APIs. Um, these are some, some information, JavaScript files. You see this one is actually an image. Um, so, and, and so on. It's quite a few of them, right? Another font. So a lot of different things. And then once all of these are done, uh, we can actually see uh, it starts rendering. So there is quite a few more images. So once it's all done, it starts rendering. And now we see the, the screen. So with all this being said, every time we do anything, wh whatever action we do, it sends a whole bunch of requests to the backend. This is front end. It only lives in our browser, right? That's where we see that what we interact with, with which is front end. Backend, uh, within the, for this course, we don't have any uh, testing involved uh, for when it comes to backend, because again, backend, it's 80% of your application and frontend, it's only 20. So, but uh, the good thing, we don't need to know anything about backend just to perform functional testing. Um, okay, so let me show you an example. So for example, if I delete um, a password here, and uh, try to log in now. So you see, mm, probably you haven't seen. Okay, let me let me do it one more time. If I if there is no password, sorry, one more time. I'm gonna delete all the calls so they're not distracting us. If there is no password, and it tries to sign in, there was no call related to, to login. So meaning that this, um, if I type in something here and then delete it one more time, you see password is required. There was no calls, but it says password is required. It's uh, because it's a front end validation. On the other hand, 
if I type in incorrect password, let's say, and if I try to sign in, look at the right side. I try to sign in. Nothing is going on. Okay, hold on, let me refresh the page. One more time, if I try to sign in, you see there is way more requests went through and one of those requests was um, some Google ones, you see, uh, fonts and some image. So this one. This particular one, you see it's red. And this is actually, you can see within that request, this is my uh, username that I sent from here. And this is my password, which is incorrect. This W is extra. So it's incorrect. And because of that, I got this response back. You see, it says 401. It's not, it's red. You can see it's red, right? And here it says that it's unauthorized, bad credentials, you see. And after that, there is some other stuff going on, uh, some images, styles, whatever, even some audio. I don't know where is that. I don't even see it on the screen. But you see now there is a different uh, message got displayed on the screen. Username or password is incorrect. And that's why, because it was backend validation. It was backend error. So in this case, even the location is different, you see, and it took a little longer. For that one, it took almost, uh, it happened almost immediately, but for this one, it took uh, some time, like half a second or second maybe, because front end asked back end, like, hey, is this the valid uh, username and password? And back end said, no, it's not. And that's why we, we got this uh, message. 